Our universe is already incredibly big and rich. At the moment, we can survey an area with a diameter of 93 billion light years. It's probable that our universe is still much bigger. Scientists suspect that beyond the observable universe are trillions and trillions of light years of space, galaxies, stars, and planets. The best telescopes of all time are revealing more and more mysterious phenomena and beautiful phenomena. It is truly incredible the diversity, splendor, and superlatives our cosmos holds. And we cannot even begin to estimate at this time when or if there will ever be an end to these discoveries. Currently, there are dozens of hints that besides our gigantic universe, there are always more cosms and universes. Today, we invite you on a journey to the greatest discoveries of the cosmos, and we share with you the latest insights into the origin and true nature of our universe. Incredible Universe Since the 18th century, people have been constructing bigger and better telescopes to look as deeply and accurately as possible into space. In 1686, Dutch statesman and astronomer Constantine Huygens built a whole new type of high-powered telescope that was the first to accurately image the planets as far away as Saturn. Since then, Telescopes have grown larger and larger, allowing us to see further and further into the cosmos. In 2022, James Webb, the largest space telescope in human history, was launched. And in 2024, the largest optical telescope ever built, the E-ELT, will begin work in Chile's Atacama Desert. Thanks to unique technology, we already know so much about our universe, its peculiarities, and unique phenomena. We know that on Mars, there is magnetic dust in the atmosphere and that this dust makes sunsets appear a pale shade of blue. Mars is also home to the largest geological structures in the solar system. Mountains on Mars are up to three times larger than Mount Everest, and there are canyons seven times longer than the Grand Canyon on Earth. Jupiter's Great Red Spot is actually a gigantic storm that has been raging for more than 400 years. Even in Huygens' time, three Earth masses would have fit into the huge storm. Today, it is only one. From the Oort cloud, at the outermost edge of the solar system, comets travel through our solar system. Today, researchers believe that some comets carry life in the form of bacteria through the cosmos, and thus, they could be the messengers of creation. A journey to the nearest star, Alpha Centauri, would take 5 million years in a normal airplane. It would take a whole 100,000 years to travel with light speed once across the Milky Way. Jupiter's moon Europa is covered by a thick layer of ice. But beneath the kilometer-thick ice, researchers have found an ocean of liquid water. Microorganisms could exist there. At the center of every major galaxy, there is a supermassive black hole. The black hole at the center of the Milky Way is called Sagittarius A star. It is 12 million kilometers in diameter and can attract and suck in stars, planets, and other black holes. Water ice was considered a rarity in the solar system until 50 years ago. Today we know that water ice is present on all rocky planets. The moons of the gas giants have frozen water, and even on Mercury, which is closest to the Sun, there are occurrences of water ice. The largest asteroid in the solar system is named Vesta, and it's as large as some of the numerous dwarf planets at the far edge of the solar system. The only difference is that Vesta does not orbit the Sun, so it's clearly an asteroid, not a planet. Mercury and Venus are the only planets in our solar system that do not have moons. Earth suddenly had a one meter large second moon in 2019. 
where the tiny thing came from, is unknown. After a year in orbit around Earth, the mini-moon disappeared again. On the planet Neptune, winds permanently rage, which reach top speeds of 2,600 kilometers per hour. That is twice the speed of sound on Earth. The storms on Neptune are so fast because there is hardly any friction or resistance in the gas planet's high atmosphere. On Saturn, a perpetual storm rages similar to the one on Jupiter. The storm at Saturn's North Pole has another fascinating feature. It shows the shape of a hexagon. A day on Venus is longer than a Venusian year. This is due to the fact that Venus needs 243 days to rotate around its own axis, whereas our neighboring planet needs only 225 days for its orbit around the Sun. We know that black holes are not completely black. They have their very own hue, which is simply invisible to our eyes. The largest collection of galaxies is the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. Its size is 10 billion light years, and it's considered one of the largest coherent structures in the cosmos. Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus have a ring system like Saturn. However, the rings are much finer and not visible to the naked eye. The star, UY Scuti, is 1,700 times larger than our Sun. Together with VV Cephei A, the red supergiant is one of the largest known stars in the universe. Nevertheless, our Sun is so large that it accounts for 99% of the mass of our star system. At the center of the Milky Way, two complex organic molecules called ethyl formate and N-propyl cyanide have been discovered. On Earth, these are found in raspberries and artificial rum flavoring. For now, we probably won't be able to test whether the center of our galaxy tastes like a raspberry. There are exoplanets on which it rains glass, rocks, or diamonds. A planet on which it rains gold, however, has not been discovered so far. Triton is the only moon orbiting its planet in a reverse orbit. Pluto's moon Charon is half the size of its planet. Presumably, the two are more like a double planet system. Some researchers believe the same about the Earth and the Moon. Dark matter makes up about 96% of the universe. Stars, planets, and galaxies occupy only 4% of space. So far, we know very little about dark matter and dark energy and there are probably countless other forms of matter and energy that remain undiscovered. In 2004, a planet was discovered, which consists of up to 30% of diamond. Saturn has a density lower than that of water. If we could put the planet in a giant bathtub, it would float easily like a feather on the surface. Our neighboring galaxy is the Andromeda Galaxy at a distance of 2.5 million light-years. If the empty space really consisted of nothing, there would be complete silence in space. But this is not the case. With large radio telescopes, we are able to pick up signals even from galaxies millions of light-years away. This is possible because the interstellar medium consists of at least 100 or even billions of atoms per cubic meter. It can thus transmit sound waves, albeit very weakly. These are outside the audible range, and researchers must convert the signals to higher frequencies to make them audible. With Pluto, we had nine planets in the solar system. Then Pluto lost its planet status, and there were only eight. But in the meantime, there is increasing evidence that there is another large planet at the very edge of the solar system which scientists call Planet 9 or Planet X. So, we have not yet discovered everything, even in our own solar system. Even from universes known so far, we know only a small portion, and meanwhile, the indications increase that our gigantic cosmos is not the only one. Out there and around us, there could be countless other universes and hitherto unknown dimensions. 
For a long time, researchers assumed that our universe is 13.8 billion years old and originated from a single starting point. The Big Bang Theory is no longer tenable in the opinion of some cosmologists. It's not only the newest discoveries of the oldest galaxies which bring this theory into the sway. Researchers found evidence of a mysterious line which divides the firmament into two halves. This, known as the Arc of Evil, designated line could be the center around which our cosmos circles. So, in the grand scheme of things, the universe would then be nothing more than a galaxy containing trillions of galaxies and the next universes swirling around their own axes somewhere in an infinite space. That would mean that our universe does not expand, but rotates. Another hint is given by the dark flow which cosmologists understand as a possible pattern in the proper motion of galaxy clusters. These structures originate hypothetically also from outside of the universe, which points again to a coexistence of different universes. From the motion patterns of some galaxies and clusters of galaxies billions of light years away from us, researchers calculated the presence of a large massive object outside our cosmos that influences the orbits of galaxies. However, the possibility of many other universes has long existed not only within our universe. Quantum physics assumes that there are many other dimensions within our world, above, below, before, or behind it, which we cannot see or measure at present. These can be worlds which follow completely different physical regularities than our universe. These cosms can be very big, tiny, or a mirror or time-inverted imprint of our cosmos. In our universe, everything is connected by the force of gravitation, but it would also be conceivable that there are cosms without the natural forces known to us, or with completely different forces. Stars and galaxies could be intelligent living beings in these universes, which walk in their space like we humans walk through nature. Researchers found evidence for the existence of white holes, but unlike our black holes, they leak energy and information while nothing enters them. Our black holes could be just such white holes in a parallel universe. The energy and the information which disappear, never to be seen again, are spat out there, and researchers in this cosmos wonder now, in this moment, perhaps just about where the mysterious strength of white holes comes from. We hope you enjoyed this crazy, beautiful journey through our universe and possible parallel worlds. Write us in the comments which of these discoveries and peculiarities you liked the most and how you imagine a perfect parallel universe to be. Every comment will be read by us and we greatly appreciate your active participation. See you next time at Simply Space.